Hi, I'm Oblissi. Hey guys, if you enjoy this video, I appreciate a like, comment, sub, and little bell notification. Thanks so much, enjoy. Hey everyone, today I have my week five battle um, from um, the Brave Bird Battlers League. Um, I think we're in elimination territory now, but I also don't really follow the rules of the league very much in terms of like what is when. Um, I didn't really have any time to do any research on my opponent at all. And I'd been losing a lot, so I just like brought the, the bog standard trick room instead of trying to like tailor my team to my opponent. Um, I just wanted to bring like what I'm comfortable with and what I like kind of drafted. Like just trick room, hyper offense, I either go in and I lose instantly or I steamroll. So uh, let's just say it's going to be a quick battle. Um, so looking at from preview, um, the thing about Trick Room that's nice is I don't have to give a crap what my guy leads with. Yuxi can live literally everything. He could have even lived a stab Dark EMZ from that Incineroar if it had to. Um, so he could live anything from this guy. So I always lead with Yuxi so I can, you know, have it kill itself. So let's start with that. So he leads with the Tapu Fini and I lead with Yuxi. And the second Yuxi comes out, I kind of get his strategy, right? He leads with a Tapu Fini because he knows I like to... Uh, he knows I like to, like... Oh, whoops. He knows I like to suicide into um, into Ursaring, and Misty Terrain prevents Ursaring from getting burned by its Flame Orb. Pretty cool strategy, I would say. Um, here's where I realized a critical error. Uh, my Yuxi does not have Trick Room. My Yuxi has Trick by accident. I made the team in such a rush, I forgot to put Trick Room. I actually thought about <laughs> asking for, like, a redo so I could put the proper moves on my Yuxi, but I didn't want to because I, I just, like, I didn't want to, like, take legitimacy away from the potential victory of this guy. I didn't want any, like, funny business to happen, so I didn't ask for it. So I figured, okay, I set up a light screen here um, on first turn, and he calm mines. I'm like, oh, okay. Um, he calm mines again. I memento right out of there. <laughs> so Yuxi's got bulked up special defense, but that doesn't matter too much. I'll go into Earthstring. I figure he'll do nothing with uh, zero special attack bonus and all SD. So he hazes here, actually, and resets his own stats, which is interesting. I EQ'd because I... just in case he switched into something else. Um, he goes into Tangela on my Swords Dance. This is a really bad play from him. This was the turn Misty to Rain War out. So he goes into this Tangela. I get my burn and I get my Swords Dance. So Ursaring right here um, is at around like 1100 attack right now. Um, which is extremely powerful. Um, and so he gets a Leech Seed off and I Fire Punch here and I get a crit. Now if he was max defense, max HP, bold Tangela, that absolutely mattered. Um, that was only going to do 75 to 80%. I actually should have calced here. I didn't. I just assumed. I don't know why I assumed Fire Punch would be the strongest, but um, uh, Facade actually had a chance to Oko. I think it was like a 90 to 110 chance to Oko um, the Tangela, if I'm remembering the calc correctly. But so I get a crit. That's huge. He has no switch ins to this, right? So he goes into uh, Tapu Fini here, and I know he's going to haze, but I spent quite a long time calcing, like, okay, what's my best play here? And it turns out. If this is, even if this is a bold max defense Tapu Fini, and I'm hazed, so I only have the burn, Facade actually will always Oko if this was max HP, max defense, defense plus nature. So, Ursaring is just a monster, so Facade will always Oko this Tapu Fini. This is actually insanity. So, um, luckily I actually haven't taken any Leech Seed damage yet, because I keep Okoing things on the Leech Seed turn, so... I'm only losing a health from my burn, which I actually think is super funny, but... Um, yeah, so he goes into Zerara. Zer I can't pronounce this, guys. I don't know why I have such trouble with Zer Zeraora. Is that how it's said? I'm not sure. So I know these things like to run close combat. They also like to be mixed. Um, I was looking at my team. I was looking at his team. I was thinking, okay, I don't want to switch in Aud Audino on to a close combat and have it just die. Um, it's actually max defense with Sh uh, Choppleberry. So I could take a fighting attack, but I didn't want to have it switch in. And I thought, well, if first ring dies, it's fine. I have my Crawdaunt here, which is equally powerful, I'd say. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to take the close combat and die. Um, he Grass Knots here, and of course it doesn't do anything. I don't know why he Grass Knotted. I'm not really sure what he was trying to catch. Camera up, maybe? Um, but I, I can't imagine it was doing any damage to literally anything except Stack Attacka, which... I wasn't going to switch in because I was afraid of a fighting move. Um, oh, maybe he thought... Maybe he was just picking a move because he thought I was going into the the ground type. I don't, I'm not really sure. So he goes into Pillow Swine, and now I'm like, okay, well, Audino can take anything this Pillow Swine's got to do, so I'm just going to preserve my Earth Ring. 
Um, he ice sharded. I knew he'd have to ice shard there because um, if he let, if like, if he tried to rock there and then I actually attacked him with facade and I killed the pillow swine too, like, it was over for him 100% at that point. So I switch into Audino on the Ice Shard. Audino takes it well. Very, very bulky Pokemon. Um, he Stealth Rocks. Oops. Hold on. Oops. Uh, he Stealth Rocks here, which is fine. I care not about entry hazards, like, at all. Um, and I just set up a Trick Room here. And my plan at this point is to take the hit, no problem. I'm going to set up a Wish and I'm going to go into Crawdaunt. Crawdon's going to take the EQ very poorly, but then it gets its health all the way back from Wish. Um, I figured I'm going to SD here, and now I'm going to have an opportunity to waterfall this Pillow Swine down. Um, I think I played pretty poorly on that turn. I let Trick Room go down basically completely. Um, but I do have Aqua Jet. That's kind of why I was okay with this. I think a lot of people wouldn't expect Aqua Jet on a Trick Room set, but I'm definitely running it. So he goes into Metagross, and he actually bullet punches, realizing I have Aqua Jet, and um, then I take him out. Um, Audino comes in and um, takes the bullet punch, no problem, from Metagross, and I Trick Room here. Now, I actually was trying to figure out uh, like a lot what to do here. This was like a really tough decision for me. Um, I kind of thought, well, maybe I have this in the bag here if I just... <laughs> Audino just sends itself to hell, and I bring out Ursaring uh, with full health, so... The thing is, I don't like sacking my most, like, my best Trick Room setter, basically. Like, Aud nothing's going to kill Audino with Regenerator, with Wish, etc. Um, but the thing is, I didn't want to switch in anything directly. Although, I think Stack Attack probably could have taken something from the um, Incineroar. And definitely, Camerupt could have taken something. But I just, I don't know why I didn't want to do it. So, I sack Audino with the Healing Wish, get it the get it out of there, go back into Ursaring. And, uh... I EQ here straight away, just knowing I'm going to get a burn later, it's fine. He Drain Punches, he gets like all his health back. Or not all, he does a lot of damage to me, but gets a lot of health back. I know now I'll kill it. And here I was actually getting a little bit worried, but from the damage um, uh, earlier, I was actually thinking, because of the way this, this Metagross um, uh, was dealing damage towards my uh, Audino, um, I... I suspected it could be um, um, a CB Metagross, but if it wasn't, um, it was still okay because when I, the way I played it right, so he comes in here, um, he has to bullet punch here, so if he's CB, he's locked into it. And uh, this Metagross, if it was CB and it bullet punched, um, it's he loses, and if he was CB, and if he wasn't CB, so he bullet punches... Um, he doesn't have enough damage to Oko my um, camera up at all, so I would have just Earth Powered and I won. So I had the game uh, closed out there completely, and uh, that was the match. And um, this was my first actual battle win of the season. My last week match was like a forfeit, which is nice. Uh, it was lame that I didn't get to play it out, but it's nice in the sense that like I'm actually I was actually able to win on my own this turn, which was cool. Um, interesting stat I didn't notice this while I was playing. I was talking to uh, the, the head of the league here. He told me my opponent got zero kill points because all of my Pokemon uh, died to themselves. So, like, Audino and Yuxi killed themselves, and then Crawdaunt died from Life Orb Recoil. So I thought that was a pretty interesting statistic. That was fun. Um, good game. Uh, wow. Good game. A good game. Uh, sh I, can't, I can't pronounce his name, but it was a good game. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this battle, and I'll see you next video.